Today I have the gorgeous Edia Icyan with me. We are going to be making her favorite dish. What's your favorite dish? Pineapple and shrimp fried rice. That's right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad that you're here. Pineapple and shrimp fried rice. Mm. What's the story behind that? Okay, so my favorite fruit is pineapple. Really? Yes. Oh. Yes. Well, for, you, know, for you know what they say. Feminine reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and, okay, and, okay. And, and growing up, um, we always loved eating out. We always liked eating Chinese food or mm -hmm. anything Asian, really. Yeah. Um, and I really like seafood. Shrimp is one of my favorites. So amazing. Okay, so we're gonna do it. Let's start by chopping up our peppers. I'm gonna okay. get you. Um, I'm chopping the peppers. Okay. Yes. Sure. I love cooking. Let's do it. That sounded <laughs> so fake. We'll do it together. Okay. You, you chop up the peppers. I'll chop up the garlic. Okay. Oh, do you want to chop up the stinky garlic? No, you can do exactly. the garlic, that's fine. Thank you. So, I know you to be a model. Okay. Uh, well, not just a model. You're a super career woman, super driven. Mm -hmm. You know, I know you have your show, mm -hmm. um, Style 101. Yes, I Which do. I was a guest on as well. <laughs> <laughs> we loved having you. Thank oh, you for coming. Thank you. Um, okay. Do you ever find time to cook? Do you, I mean, what, what do you do? How, what? <laughs> how do you survive? <laughs> well, in the past, to be honest, I mean, I was a New Yorker. So oh, really? Exactly. So most of the time, you know, it was eating out. But since I moved back to Nigeria, I learned to cook more, especially a lot of my favorite dishes, like nice. this one. What are your favorite dishes? Do you like um, Nigerian food? Or I do like Nigerian food now, and I've um, learned how to cook a few things, like a goosey soup, hey. or fada stew. Okay. So yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, I've You're become learning. more domesticated. You're doing well. And you haven't chopped off any nails? I better be, because <laughs> you're eating this, so. Exactly, I don't want any nails in my shrimp fried rice. Very funny, they're not that long. But they're nice, they're cute. Thank you. Monochrome and all that. Snap, snap. Did I say monochrome? Yes, it's monochrome. It, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout I out thought, to Amina. Oh, is that who did your nails? <laughs> Shout out to you, Amina. When are you doing my nails? Our peppers are done. They're chopped. Thank they're like... Nicely chopped. Our garlic is done. Now we're just going to boil our rice. Okay. And I'm using basmati rice because I, I like basmati. Do you like basmati? That's fine. Yeah, and it has a really nice smell and an aroma. So um, I'm just going to wash this and pop it into a pot. Okay. Now we're going to chop up our pineapple. Yes, let me do this part and then you can do the rest. So I'm going to cut it in the middle. Oh. Because this is going to be our bowl for our rice. Oh. I know we fancy over here. <laughs> and ta-da! So this is yours. I'm going to get your smaller knife because I don't want you to hurt yourself. What are we doing? Just taking up the inside? Yes, but you want to leave like an inch. Yeah, yeah. Yes, perfect. So a lot of people think that you can't raise a family and be this boss woman and, you know, super mm -hmm. professional woman. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's very possible. I mean, with your career as well, I'm sure that you would want to settle down Absolutely. and be able to um, do it all. And I think that the world has changed so much and women are more of super women right now. We, we can do are. everything. We can handle the yes. kids, we can handle work, we can handle raising a home. Do you want kids? Of course. Yeah. Four regrets. Four? Yes. See, when I say four, people look at me like I'm going crazy, but I have a lot of siblings. I've yeah. got six brothers. Wow. Two sisters. So I have a huge, huge family. All right, now you want to try and scoop. I'm not an idiot, so I know what we're doing. <laughs> she is sassy. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> I should have come onto your show and just give you the most amount of sass and just be like, You yes. did though. No, I didn't. You you, don't try it. You were full of it. <laughs> yeah, so. But we um, had a good time. We did have a good time. I, I had so much fun on your show. But look how easy it is to scoop out. Mine's not coming out that way. Well, that's because you're not doing it right. <laughs> Thanks. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this pineapple to fly over your face. And I'm sure that wouldn't be an accident. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been modeling for? Um, professionally, I would say 
it didn't really kick off until I was in my 20s. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. But then at the same time, I had gone to school to pursue my master's. Mm -hmm. And then master's in what? Um, international PR. Okay. So I first I studied journalism for my undergrad, and then I went into international PR. And then I went straight to work. And then it became even harder to pursue the dream. Yes. As life would have it, when I came back to Nigeria with the company I was working for in New York, yeah. somehow it just kicked off that when I got into television, those opportunities that I had worked so hard for yeah. just started jumping out of Coming the woodwork. Coming out. Yeah. I love that. And I think it was quite disruptive because, okay, you had the following mm -hmm. and then you could also do the fashion work. Absolutely. So, yeah. What do you prefer, modeling or TV presenting? I don't think I, I don't think I've ever thought about it. I don't I don't feel like I. Because a lot I, of people ask me that. What do you like? Oh, dancing or cooking? Which one do you prefer? You don't have to choose. I don't. I, yeah, that's the what world, I say. The world has changed so much. I you mean, can do whatever you want to do and do everything and be fabulous at it. And don't you feel like doing both gives you balance? It does. It does. Because I mean, you guys see me being sassy on this show and everything, but you should watch me when I'm on stage. I'm extra sassy, like super. She's sassy. sassy period. In her sleep. She said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Okay, well, you've done a good job with the pineapples. Well I hope done, so. Well done. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, it's pretty good. So we've hollowed it out. Now we're just going to chop it up in nice chunks. I've eaten all the pineapple. There's not much left to chop up. But well, let's you know, see what I happens. mean, I did tell you to leave some. <laughs> leave some. Just going to marinate our gorgeous king prawns. Why are they gorgeous? They are. Look at them. <laughs> they are so Stunning. They are delicious. They're so big and juicy and they change colour when they're cooked. Yum, yum, yum. How pretty is that? But anyway, you just <laughs> always have to remember to take out the poop from the back. How do you take out the poop from the back? All you have to do is slice it down and just remove it. Did you know that was poop? No. You didn't know that was poop? No, I had so no idea. So you've just been going around eating... Sh um, Shut up. Prawn poop. <laughs> so I've got one cube of seasoning cube about a tablespoon of oyster sauce. I love oyster sauce. That is more than a tablespoon. No, it's fine. not. <laughs> and some garlic. Nice. And a little bit of white pepper. If I can find my white pepper. Right there. Thanks, India. Oh, girl, you're so domestic or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be like you. Nice. Okay, so how long do you have to do that for? I mean, we'll just leave it to marinate for like 10 minutes just over there in the corner while we start stir-frying our vegetables. Okay. Okay? Okay. Perfect. You're not doing anything. You're just standing here I'm looking pretty. I'm supposed to be here looking pretty. What am I supposed to do? Gosh, like help me out or something. Do you want a pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> Could you pass me the garlic, please, darling? No. Oh, Ija doesn't want to do anything. I'm helping. I'm You're so not. helpful. I cut all the vegetables. She did, actually. I, I used my before. hands to, like, As turn your shrimp. Your foot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. You're supposed to use your foot. <laughs> this one that you're wearing, lingerie. <laughs> it's called lingerie, first of all. Lingerie. This one that you're wearing, lingerie. No, but have you ever cooked naked? Would you cook naked for your man? Of course. Naked, though? Yeah, in the no, but fully naked, like it's stark no naked. with an apron on. Oh. It's my life, it's my house. It's so. true, it's true, very true. Man as in husband, <laughs> not boyfriend. So you would only cook naked for your husband? Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, did you see that thing that was on the news with this um, football player that said, um, after the game, he was just going to go home and chill out with his oh son. My God. And then they saw him at, in at the, the club, club. <laughs> dancing. All right. Shaku shaku in. I'm telling you, this shaku shaku is becoming a problem. All right, so add our peppers. Got some red, some green, some yellow, some onions, onions. in there. Right. Just going to stir fry that. Thank you. I'm about to make this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just going to take this one and then... You just take this one and pretend you made it. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of salt, some pepper. Excuse Sorry. me, darling. Where's my pepper? Okay. It's like eating What kind of pepper? Not white, yeah? This is white. Okay. You don't like white pepper? No, it's just asking. Yeah, it's white pepper. 
<laughs> All right, so our rice goes in there. Our rice is nice and cool. Okay. Look at all those pretty colors. All right, so I'm gonna go in with some oyster sauce. Are you trying to sabotage the prawns? Because I'm, I'm like gonna drop this. Go for it. Is it hot enough? Yes. Nice. I'm gonna get that lovely grill mark. You go, Idia. It's not rocket science, but hey. Oh my god! <laughs> Someone cannot even compliment you. Someone cannot even shave with you. If I don't, if I don't compliment her now, she's saying, yeah, I'm never coming back to this show again. I will always come back for the food. <laughs> don't worry. But just not for me. You're not that powerful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what is that that you added to the rice for? Well, what if you were listening, you would know. I was busy grilling the prawns, which okay. is a huge part of the meal. Right. It was um, oyster sauce. Okay. Now I'm going to add some soy sauce. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you are madam. Not the hard part, yeah, not the hard part. Yay! Yay! We are done! I'm taking the whole part home. <laughs> come on, no, come on, carry this whole thing. Fine. <laughs> so, will you be making this for anybody special? Maybe? A special somebody? I won't be talking about that with you. But... Why won't you be talking about that with me? Why not? She's gonna be making this for someone special. If you are that someone special and you're watching this, um, yeah, you're welcome. Can thank me later. Buy I me. cooked it all. She didn't. All she did was talk. She <laughs> right. There you go. Thank you. We've got our gorgeous shrimp. Gorgeous right shrimp. Yes, I was stunning. Ever oh. so stunning. Oh, look at that. Time to eat. Let's dig in. <laughs> I want to take this juicy prawn right here. I'm ready. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and check us out at acceleratetv.com and I'll see you guys soon. I'm Solia, we just here. This is off the menu. Mwah. Bye guys. Cheers. Ciao. Hello guys, I'm Idia Aysian and this is Off the Menu with Soliat. Make sure you subscribe to Accelerate TV.